The title of this web clip is a laminar organization of alpha oscillations. It will describe the science and the technique behind figure 2.10 in the textbook. I'm Mingzhou Ding. I'm at the University of Florida. Suppose we place electrode on a person's head and then observe the voltage coming out of a posterior electrode, in this case, this red one. What we will see is that when the eyes are closed and the person's awake, the voltage exhibits fairly rhythmic activity. The frequency of that is about 10 hertz, or 10 cycles per second. When the eyes are open, it becomes less prominent, although still somewhat noticeable. This is called the alpha rhythm or alpha oscillations. It was discovered in the 1920s by Hans Berger. Since it's a very initial discovery, the genesis and the function of alpha has been studied extensively, both in humans and in animal models. Early work favor the thalamic pacemaker hypotheses. Namely, it was thought that alpha oscillations were generated in the thalamus, then it got propagated to the cortex through thalamocortical axons. Then we pick up with our scalp electrodes. Subsequent evidence, on the other hand, appear to suggest that cortical neurons could also oscillate in the alpha frequency range. We examined the laminar organization of alpha to further substantiate the cortical alpha genesis hypotheses. Local fuel potential and the multi-unit activity were recorded from awake behaving monkeys with a linear multi-contact electrode. The raw LFPs are quite noisy. We need to perform averaging in order to enhance signal-to-noise ratio. This is accomplished by a procedure called the phase realigned averaging technique. From the averaged alpha local field potential, we can then compute a quantity called current source density profile, which is able to provide more precise information regarding where activity is happening in a cortical column. This is figure 2.10. In panel A, we see a schematic of the multi-contact electrode. Each one of these black dot is a recording contact. Together, we can simultaneously study neuronal activities across all six cortical layers in a cortical column. This set of electrodes are located in the superficial layers, or layers one to three, Layer 4 here, deep layers, or layers 5 and 6, in this area. This panel displays raw LSP recordings from these electrocontacts. And as we can see, the rhythmic character is already quite apparent. It has a frequency of 10 hertz, but 
they're still quite noisy. Collecting such episodes over many segments, we can then perform suitable averaging. From the averaging, then, we arrive at the much smoother local field potential during alpha oscillation. From the average local field potential, we can then compute a second spatial derivative at each time point, and then using color to encode the values of the second derivative. The background is the current source density profile obtained this way. The color can be understood in the following way. Consider this patch. We see this blue color. This means during this segment of the alpha cycle, at the location roughly corresponding to layer 4, the current is actually flowing out of the cellular membrane. So, in other words, we are seeing a current source here. Over the next segment of the alpha cycle, this red color reflects the fact that the current is actually flowing into the cellular membrane. In other words, we are seeing a current sink over here. Accompanying this source and the sink activity, the cellular firing reflected by this multi-unit activity trace tells us during current sink we see enhanced cell firing. Very similar profile happens for the deep layer alpha current generator. For the superficial layer alpha generator, situation is slightly different. First of all, the phase is reversed, and the multi-unit activity appear to be not modulated by the alpha rhythm. This analysis, therefore, tells us there are three alpha current generators in V4, the layer 4 and the deep layer alpha current generators could be pacemakers because the cellular firing is still rhythmic according to the alpha frequency, meaning that the action potentials can propagate to other places and entrain neurons in those places to fire with the alpha frequency. The superficial layer generator, on the other hand, is likely to be subthreshold. More detailed analysis demonstrate that is actually the deep layer of a current generator to be the more primary of a pacemaker. This analysis lends further support to the cortical alpha genesis 